David Clark had a lifelong interest in railways and the Great Western Railway in particular. He had an uncle who was a signalman on the Great Western and Great Central Joint Line and during the summer holidays when David was a boy he used to go and stop with his uncle and aunt and get himself into the signal box which fascinated him as he was very very interested in the way that the signalman nicknamed the Bobby uh, controlled uh, the trains uh, and he always wanted to be able to replicate something along those lines. He considered that Great Western signalling in the 1930s was uh, way ahead of its time as far as any other railway company was concerned. Uh, he researched it in great detail and as a result of that he built a, a large model railway. It was conceived in the late 1970s uh, and first ran in the early 1980s. Uh, he described it as a technical exercise in signalling. It was radio controlled from day one. The reason that it was radio controlled was that the layout was so large that it, you couldn't keep the tracks clean and also that he wanted power in the tracks so that the locomotives could operate track circuiting in a prototypical manner. So in, as well as the model railway layout itself there was a signal box with 210 scale working levers in which are all prototypically interlocked uh, in typical Great Western fashion. The layout shows searchlight signals which were developed with the Westinghouse Signalling and Brake Company in the 1930s and the Great Western and the traditional drop arm uh, signals of course it was down for off and go uh, with the Great Western uh, and uh, which was the opposite way to most uh, other railway companies. As I said the railway was radio controlled from day one it has developed along those lines ever since. The layout still operates today and is still radio or wireless controlled although the operating mechanisms have been improved dramatically over the years. Um, if David Clark was to come back and look at the railway today it would look exactly the same as it did on the last Tuesday when he walked uh, out from seeing the layout just before tragically he passed away. David of course was president or honorary president of the Great Central Railway uh, and uh, invested heavily to produce the double track and it probably was the saviour of the Great Central Railway in its early years. Um, he went on also to form his own foundation, the Shuttle Park Foundation, where the layout is now based and in the custodianship we are very fortunate to continue to have this wonderful asset which is part of David's legacy to us all.
Uh, can you take the fitted duds on the up, Alan? Uh, yeah, I can take that. Yeah. Thank you. He's online to you. Okay, thanks. Can you take a coal train on the down, please? I can indeed. Okay. He's online. Thank you.